Hallo, einen Wunder, die ja schon auch lange kennen und dem beiden das Mikrofon geben. Die beiden werden auf Englisch ein paar Sachen sagen. Very, very special one to our heart. Because it's, um, it's very, very, uh, and opens up your eyes to evaluate again an art form that is probably as old as art history. Allows us to rethink what painting is for me. It's my aim to have viewers experience a sense of being within their own body. I find that the figuration in my paintings is meant to evoke this sense of being within your body looking out at the world instead of the experience of looking onto a body. And so we've done a number of interventions with the space architecturally and I made a site-specific installation for this exhibition that are, are really meant to sort of have these moments where this movement through time and space both exists as this expands but then also as this collapse as represented in the title of the exhibition. There's a drive I think we have as people to find this sort of figure in all things, even in inanimate objects. You know, you look at a, at a light plate or, a, <laughs> you know, a, a sinks, faucets and handles, and we see a face in it. And so I, I use things like the figure and pattern to sort of have these moments of instant recognition in the, in the work. But then within that instant recognition, I hope that the longer one spends looking at the work, the more our immediate read of the legibility starts to become undermined and uh, complicated. It is uh, a position that is uh, advancing the discourse around questions of inclusion and diversity. It's a portrayal of a different lived experience. And this is something that I think institutions should embrace to open up the voices, to open up this, the space as a platform for this plurality of voices to come in and engage with each other. One of the very exciting things that happen when you look at the works of Christina is that you see all these individuals who are trying to kind of push out beyond the confines of these planes and patterns. Um, and at the same time, they sometimes feel completely overwhelmed by these situations. And in a sense, it is a very, very beautiful metaphor to express the need of an individual to connect, to go beyond these boundaries that are set uh, by society, by social expectations, by these fixed markers of identity.